I'm so glad to finally be able to see that film. And I'm back with the man who selected that movie to be part of our series called The Jewish Experience on Film, and that's Dr. Eric Goldman, the author of the book, The American Jewish Story Through Cinema. It's so interesting about this movie, and you had said something that, as we, we talked about earlier, it was very difficult to get a print of this movie. Most universal international films are easy to find. This one's kind of totally disappeared. And so who did we find it through? Well, we were able to track down a print through the British Film Institute of all places. So, And the British film industry, <laughs> it was the one who hated this movie. Right, and it's anti-British. They banned it from being shown in that country for years. And Yet they're the ones that got us the print. They preserved it for yeah, us. Yeah, interesting. Let's talk about the, the, that scene at the end of the film with Marta Torrent. I mean, it's one of these films. It's, it's the... Um, it, it's the Palestinian Jews, it's the Israelis against the British. Now those type of battles really never took place. There were many British soldiers, uh, just over a hundred British soldiers who were killed during the mandate period because of different actions, a lot of them uh, by groups like the Irgun and the Lehi that, that targeted British soldiers. But to have an actual battle where uh, British are fighting uh, the Jews, it's taking it a little beyond what was actually real. So I think what the director, George Sherman, and the writer-producer, Robert Buckner, were trying to do was have us identify uh, with this fight against the British. So it's a fascinating ending when on Christmas Day, uh, the Jews come in, the Palestinian Jews, the Israelis come in to, to free uh, the prisoners. Uh, Think back to American history and the Revolution. I'm from Philadelphia, so I very much know about the Battle of Trenton, where George Washington had just crossed the Delaware and then marches in on the day after Christmas and takes, you know, uh, defeats the Hessians at Trenton. So, you know, it's, it's, it's the Revolutionary uh, War contemporized. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you see it move on, and what do you see in the distance? you see this very Christological Bethlehem type of portraiture. So it's not only the birth of the new state, but it has these Christological references. There's something very special about this holy land, and, and it's very clear that Buckner and Sherman want us to identify in this way. Interesting. Well, let's move on. Stick around, Eric, and I'll be back to talk about another movie that's part of our look at the Jewish experience on films. It's from 1960. It stars Paul Newman as a Jewish activist determined to help establish the state of Israel. Co-stars a very good friend of ours here at TCM, the wonderful Eve Marie Saint. Tonight on Turner Classic Movies, Paul Newman leads the Jewish people to the Holy Land in Exodus. Then Sterling Hayden dreams of a little plot of land away from the asphalt jungle. And bail bondsman George Raff needs to raise some money in a dangerous profession. Hi, 